Jane, why aren't you wearing any clothes? Because, Father, it's pajama day at school, and I'm wearing what I slept in last night, which is nothing. You professed your love so many years ago, before cars were invented and teens had phones. Fifty years of marriage, know your love's not fickle, and how do we feel? Well, we're tickled as pickles. This is my Independence Day, Lynn, and I'm Will Smith, and I'm telling this turkey, welcome to Earth, and it's saying, oh, I like it here, I'm gonna stay a while, and I'm like, oh, I'm also gonna cook you and eat you, and it's like, of course, you're the boss! Now we are work 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 work, 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 work. Yeah, a I'm nailing this. And a I'm bunch in a restaurant. We have so much power. So much power. Now we just have to figure out what to do with it. Fire! 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 I'm married to Linda. Damn it, Jimmy Jr. This is not a lady in red situation. Why is nothing ever a lady in red situation? Someday, buddy, you'll do it. God, I hope I'm there. We'll get it off when we get there. Tell them everyone just act cool. You got it. Mm. I'm okay. Oh! 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 Okay? Are you crying, Dad? I was just cooking, and I'm totally getting it now. Everything finally makes sense. <laughs> okay, kids, let's go clean the bathroom together. Come on, go, 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 go. Hey, everybody. This is Comic-Con from home, I think we're calling it. Bob's Burgers panel 2020. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is Lauren Bouchard. Let me introduce our panelists. Uh, this is uh, the way I see them in kind of Brady Bunch fashion. I have Nora Smith, who runs the show with me, has written the show since day one alongside of me, and uh, is a, we're very glad to have her here. Uh, I see Kristen Shaw. Kristen Shaw is here. Larry Murphy, <laughs> looking good. Dan Mintz, right in the middle, like Mr. Brady. John Benjamin. John Benjamin is here. John Roberts, John Roberts from a, a remote location. He won't tell us where he is. <laughs> the bunker. We have Eugene Merman. We are so glad to have our cast. And then we have another special guest today. This is Janelle Montgomery. She is our supervising producer and she deserves to have the light shine on her. So we made her come be part of this Zoom. Uh, so a welcome. We have some um, clips to show. We have um, fans joining us as if we were all together in a physical space. They're going to ask questions as if this was just a normal panel at Comic-Con. Um, we, uh, we can talk uh, amongst ourselves and we can tease our upcoming episodes. Um, yes, we have episodes, first of all, in case anyone tuning in want, needs to know, we are in production. Bob's Burgers is in production and never stopped being in production, thanks to Janelle. Um, we are all working from home, so we actually have episodes to talk about. It's, a qu it's quite a miracle. It's an accomplishment that I think uh, is uh, only matched by a few other animated shows. Uh, the rest of Hollywood is, is shut down uh, quite appropriately, and, uh, but, and yet we, because we're in animation, get to keep making it. Um, and so why don't we do this? I was going to ask you guys um, a little bit uh, about working from home. I think that, um, Kristen, you want to start us off. What have you, what's your least favorite thing and your most favorite thing about working from home? Uh, well, my least favorite thing is I miss uh, going to a place. I just want to go to a place. Uh, I don't get to go to places. 
Um, and I miss, I miss <laughs> seeing other people and, and just getting like compliments and uh, conversation. <laughs> I don't get as many compliments from my two year old as I get um, from my friends. Um, so yeah, I miss that. I guess I, I really need a lot of praise. <laughs> Um, and then my most favorite thing, though, is that um, I'm spending more time with my family, more time with my um, two-year-old, who doesn't give me a lot of compliments, but um, we're getting to know each other in a way that I would never have uh, been afforded. You're getting along? Oh, we're getting along, yeah! How about you, John Benjamin? I would say I'm the inverse of Kristen Schaal. I don't need compliments. <laughs> And I don't like being at home with my family. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Dan? Um, yeah, I really don't like that the most acoustically favorable place in my house is, is this tiny closet that I have to stand in between a bunch of jackets for an hour. Uh, but I <laughs> How could you ever like move that. the jackets? <laughs> They told me to put them there to absorb the, the yeah. sound. No, we need I them. have to do Sorry. it. <laughs> that would make sense. Uh, <laughs> so my favorite thing is how fast it goes without like 10 minutes of conversation. <laughs> I miss that. I put that in my <laughs> session. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Larry? Uh, I, I, uh, I, I miss human interaction. I, 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 but it did make me clean up my office. It's very clean now. I had to, yeah, usable. So yeah, it's that's nice. Right. John Roberts, what about you? What don't I like? I miss everybody, of course. I miss uh, the studio. I miss John Benjamin's insult. You miss? Wow. Yeah, I miss you. I miss you. That seems and Larry. Impossible. But Thank um, you. what I like about recording at home is I could have my dog on my lap, which you never let me do in the studio. Why so did you do that one time. You yeah, kind of yelled at him afterwards. Yeah, you really, you really made fun of the dog, and that wasn't right. Probably. Not yeah, really yeah. a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it is a dog. Nora, is that oh my it's a thing. That's my daughter. How about you, you? Yeah, that's it. Um, well, I, I mean, I miss that when we're recording all together that we get to improvise and we get to sort of do different stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's, you know, it is also... I also record from a closet that has some pretty good pillows. Um, so in a sense, there's a convenience to it, but yeah, I don't mind going in to record. I think I, it, it's nice and I miss being around all of you in, in audio since I'm in a different city. Janelle, the, uh, you and I talk a lot about what this is like working remotely. What's the, what's the biggest challenge? You got everyone up and running just to, just to paint a picture within, it felt like within, a day of, of sending everybody home. We, three. Yeah, three days. It was very fast. All of a sudden, we were up. I almost was disappointed because I thought we were going to have like a little like vacation, some kind of break. Um, but we, you, the trains just kept running. What, what's what's it look like from where from where you are? Having set all that up, you were the general. What's the what's good about it? What's bad about it? We had a great team, IT, everybody, who really got all the artists going, and all the artists were very responsive. I do think most of our team has been training for this, and it's great. They don't have to leave home. They can just draw as much as they want. Um, the biggest challenge for us, though, is that collaborativeness. There's all those hallway conversations that you just walk by and hear, and when you're able to jump in and have those right creative voices, it's able to elevate every episode. And I think we missed that. Yeah. What about you, Nora? What's from the writing point of view? How, how's it been? Well, I feel like I was, I've always been ready to quarantine because I don't like going out and this is, it's nice to stay home. But like writing wise, it's actually not that hard. Like it sort of shows that writers don't have to work that much. Like for <laughs> us, like we do it for like maybe, you know, five hours over the course of a week. Uh, <laughs> We might not work that hard, but I guess we get it done. Um, I guess I miss going in somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I am trapped in my bedroom most of the day because if, if Gloria sees me and then I leave, she gets mad at me. Gloria's I thought I have my own bathroom. Her mother, she's, she's no. Nora lives with her mother, Gloria. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's your daughter. Uh, what uh, I you're being modest, of course. I know you work very, very hard. I work a lot, but the writers don't have to work because <laughs> <laughs> they're good at doing things, you know, in a small amount of time. They can cut this out. They can cut all that stuff all right. out. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's let's talk a little bit about our upcoming episodes. This is uh, again. Uh, Production under quarantine means that you get to see episodes in the fall. Uh, one of them is uh, called Worms of Endearment, which you wrote, Nora. Endearment. Worms of Endearment. Worms of Endearment, everybody. Yeah. She, wanted to, she wants you to know. Um, and uh, that's really, <laughs> tell us why that's a timely, uh, accidentally a timely episode written before COVID, but what's it about, Nora? Yeah, it got, it got, you know, I was worried it was going to be a disaster and people, well, anyway, it's about um, pinworms, a pinworms epidemic. Um, two people in my life have gotten pinworms in their butts and very close to me. And so it just seemed like a fun, um, fun uh, uh, pandemic story back when those were just wild and fancy free. And then like this happened and I was like, oh no, people are going to think we're like joking about it. But they, I mean, hopefully <laughs> it's like they, you know, they they take it seriously, but uh, it's, you know, hopefully it's more fun because it's about anal, anal, anus stuff, <laughs> but anus, not anal, but I mean, I don't know, there's a lot of hand washing. I'm hoping that people think of it as like an escape to a more fun pandemic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I think it's a fantastic episode. That's, that's our lead off hitter, right, Janelle? That's our well, hey, does that have a start date, Lauren? Do we have yeah, a start date? Janelle, Janelle knows it. Yeah, this will be the second episode in the fall. Oh, second oh, episode. No, I'm at, I'm at the beginning of the show when the show restarts in the fall. Oh, yeah. Our premiere date is September. Shoot, put me on the spot. I'll get right. it to you after we have the clip. Okay. Sorry, you sent it to me, too. I think a little dream of Bob. A dream a little dream 27. of Bob. September 27th. Dream a Little Bob of Bob is September 27th, and it is a, um, that's kind of a, in the spirit of um, the Fluiz episode, it's a dream, there's a lot of, uh, Bob, we're inside of Bob's dream for a lot of that episode, so it's, in a way, it's an epic quest. Uh, and then we have uh, Worms of Enrearment, uh, then we have, uh, a little bit later, I want to jump to Halloween, we have um, that, you know that hotel at the end of the street? that fans, sharp-eyed fans will have seen since season one, we finally get to go in there. Uh, the kids try to deliver a burger to the hotel on Halloween night. Um, there is a, um, the 200th episode comes after that. Our 200th episode. That is called- Thank you, Lauren, for not making us remember any of this stuff. Uh, my pleasure, <laughs> my pleasure. I, I got a cheat sheet. Uh, Bob yeah. Belcher and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Kids, our 200th episode. Uh, which is um, uh, kind of a uh, kind of a uh, I guess it's like a a little bit of a, a Rashomon story, not really, but it's there's a there are three kids, uh, three levels of uh, guilt in per, uh, that pertain to a, a disastrous event. Uh, and music and music, yeah, and music. Um, we, we meet Linda's parents again in um, the yeah. Terminalator 2, Terminals of Endearment, that takes place at, yeah. a, at an airport. Uh, we have a Thanksgiving episode called Diarrhea of a Poopy Kid that is uh -oh. a triptych, uh, big adventure inside the minds of our kids. Uh, and we have a Christmas episode, of course. Um, why, don't we, why don't we throw to the first clip just to um, whet our appetites for clips. This one... Um, is from uh, Worms of Enrearment. You get a little uh, glimpse uh, when they s they realize that it's inside their home. Hey, what do you think of my symphony voice? Hello, pardon me, good man, but can you point me towards the nearest hot dog? Who said that? Where did Gene go? He come hold this while I tape. So that's your symphony attire? Yeah, everyone wears a bolo tie to the symphony. Crack a book. Bob, you look fine. Come on. No. We can't keep looking for your dress shoes. We got to go. But these clogs look stupid, and the whole symphony's going to laugh at me. Maybe the trombone player will just make a sad trombone sound. That's what I'm worried about. Tina, you ready? We got to get going. 
dance zone! Cool, cool, cool. Um, so I may have outgrown this dress. Or the dress fits great and it's just that your arm fell off and your boobs got weird. Ow, 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 ow. You know what? I think it's fine. It is? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can barely notice. I honestly didn't notice until you pointed it out. Yeah, and it makes my clogs seem normal. What? I know I'm nothing. Okay, let's rock! We're gonna be early! Nothing's gonna stop us now, baby! Mm, itchy. Go into the symphony! It's really happening! Do you guys already feel a little stimulated? My arm is tingling a bit. Mm, itchy! Gene, what is it? Yeah. Yeah. Still yeah. making animation. Make the, making the show. Uh, looking forward to that episode a lot. There's a um, a lot of going um, lot, lot a, a very appropriate and um, healthy conversation going on about um, representation in animation. Um, I feel um, that every part of that conversation is good, even the awkward parts, and I been enjoying it in a way just because you know you get better at being in the world you know and trying to do good we are uh bob's burgers uh tries to do good uh you know our shop tries to do that i think you know it, it's very uh, important to us oh i think that with the show does good has value is a nutritious uh thing for the world and not some uh junk food that uh in any way makes it worse um i will stood on the stage of Comic-Con, and I kind of gave you credit, Kristen, for challenging us to hire women. And um, that has been going rather well, I think. We're, um, I made a list, I wanted to just say it out loud, uh, just because it's, this is the women of Bob's, uh, just on season nine, our guest actresses who joined um, us frequently, in some cases more than one episode, Megan Mullally, Jillian Bell, Brooke Dillman, Betsy Sidero, Sarah Baker, Rachel Dratch, Jenny Slate, Jessica Lowe, Susie Nakamura, Stephanie Beatrice, Sarah Silverman, and Laura Silverman, of course, Natasha Rothwell, Naomi Perrigan, Akila Hughes, Pam Adlon, Lorraine Newman, our own Melissa Galski, and Maya Erskine, all in season nine. And of course, we have a lot of them coming back in season 10. Um, and also Aparna Nanchal is coming back in season 10, Lindsay Stoddard coming back in season 10, Len Parham coming back, Renee Taylor coming back. Um, and that's, you know, it's important that we uh, celebrate those women and that we make a place for them on Buzz. We continue to, to try to do that. Um, we have, a, I think more importantly, I would say perhaps more importantly is also just this um, bringing women into animation. You know, the, the, uh, the animation industry was a bit, on the white male side, I would say, um, until very recently, uh, you know, historically. Um, but I think a lot of us are um, actively trying to change that. Uh, it seems um, in rough math that 50% of the Bob's writers are women, uh, just under, with 11 people and um, five women, is that if I'm doing the math correctly? Uh, we have, um, I think 31% of all the roles in Bento are filled by women, if that is the number um, that we got. Um, that's across all the shows. Um, that's not enough. That's not 50%, but that's where we're, I mean, I think it's up every year. Tell me if I'm right about that, Janelle. And that's the goal, you know, just to keep um, going and going and going. Hey, see, and we'll get a little bell like that when we, when we, when we win. Do you think it's either John Roberts or John Benjamin trying to return? Oh, John Benjamin, would we lose him on the clip? I think we lost him like a uh, half hour ago. Oh. Sorry about the clip, John. Oh, John Roberts is back. Oh. I was here the whole time, baby. Yeah, you were. By what? Uh, right. The um, I think men playing women is uh, something that will, you know, I, I think there's a great conversation around that too that's really fun to have. Um, and we don't have to have it here necessarily, but I, I will say I'm interested in anyone who wants to engage on that. It's to me, it, gender is, um, is fluid, uh, famously, and is, uh, has, it's been said that gender is a construct. John Benjamin. <laughs> I'm back. Hi, John. I'm back. Right. 
things up. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. I'm sure it went. I'm sure everything went going. Fine. No, we're starting right from where you left. Yep. <laughs> Oh, you guys just stopped. Yeah, we stopped. We've been waiting. Would you go eat a bird or something? You know, uh, Lauren, going back to that men playing women thing, maybe it would be a nice challenge. I know we have Andy and Ollie voiced by Sarah and Laura Silverman, but to draw, uh, create more male characters voiced by women um, and try it out and see how it goes. Because it's, you know, it is about the tone, the pitch and the tone and everything. And maybe if, maybe you could create some really funny things that have never happened before in animation, if you really want to play with reversing. Yeah, I Give agree. I, th I think it is a fun challenge. There's like, it, there's always that, that, yeah, that voice. We just have to be out, like, keep our ear out for it. Somebody will come along and we'll say, oh, you, ma'am should play a man and then we'll write to them yeah and they don't have to have a low voice just like a lot of the women in the show have uh are played by men with low voices you could have men with higher pitched voices too it's true yeah. that's right, right. It's yeah. very true it's true i can do both <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Got it. laughs> great well problem solved we'll just okay, have john do more it. voices i mean i think that makes sense <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just as a like a sort of it's not the same aspect of it, but a slightly adjacent maybe aspect is the like when we have women characters to write them a lot of funny lines, which I think sometimes other anime shows just kinda like, Okay, you're a woman, so you'll do the woman stuff. And it's just every female character we have, we try to like make them as funny as possible, just like some real women are. Lots. Yeah. All yes. real women. I'm <laughs> just kidding. We get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot yeah, of women are funny and uh that's why we need to write more women as funny because we are also writing a comedy show so it makes sense that's right Nora and Nora you have been particularly um good at just ringing that bell since, since as long as I've known you you just have a good radar for when a character walks on and effectively fills the role of girlfriend or mother but doesn't have a funny line doesn't have any really uh, agency or um, interesting point of view and and that's you know part of the reason you've been so incredibly valuable since the very beginning uh, we have a movie coming out we don't have movie theaters to go see it in at the moment yeah um, is it gonna play at all the drive-ins across America Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Are we all starting yeah. one tonight? Did we did we all decide we're gonna have a drive in together? It feels like that's where this is going, right? Great idea. Yeah. <laughs> like Pee Wee's big adventure. Yes. Yeah, like that's what I like think of. Yeah. Are we talking about now all investing in a drive in? Sorry, is that what you're saying, Lauren? We all end up at our drive in that's our theater and we play the Bob Newton. <laughs> Great. Well, that's I'm a good try. business model. Yeah. Yeah, it's a small, it's smaller. We're scaling down expectations. As long as it's in Massachusetts. Right. Can we send um, some Bob's Burgers gift baskets to the scientists working on a vaccine for COVID-19? That's a nice idea. You know? Can you yeah. do that? Yeah, <laughs> just to maybe wear just when they some crack it. cool towels. Yeah, just to, to make, maybe it'll lift their spirits <laughs> and they'll have a new idea. Yeah. I feel like yeah. I feel like Kristen just wants the vaccine first. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. go to a drive-in and sit in a car by myself and watch a movie. Oh. Right. I don't. Okay, go on about the movie. Okay, back to work, guys. Yeah. Back to work, scientists. Yeah, the Not movie. You were saying that the movie is <laughs> coming out. Lauren, the movie's yeah, coming, out. coming out. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely coming out. I mean, it'll come out. It's got to come out. We have to stop working on it at some point. Uh, let's let's show the other clip. This is Copa Bobana. This is a, a the um, episode in which Bob and Linda very briefly um, help the Fish Odor brothers um, open a nightclub. Uh, it's opening night. They're getting ready for opening night, and they've sort of um, done a little. Uh, co you know, they compelled Bob to cook, and Linda's going to sing uh, with Mr. Fish Odor. And I think in this clip we see a uh, Bob falling in love, uh, having a little bit of a, uh, almost an affair with the kitchen. Uh, he, he didn't expect to love this kitchen quite as much as he does. Uh, and we go into a little fantasy. Let's throw to that clip. Will we? Can we? So this is where you'll be cooking because it has all the cooking stuff and it's the kitchen. Whoa, that's a Rossetti range. Is it? I don't know. All this stuff was here already. Well, yeah, they're from Italy. Boy, it's in great shape. Italy is? No, the range. 
Hello? Yes, this is Felix, owner of Jazzare. Do you mean am I happy with my internet provider now that I'm the owner of a nightclub? Wow, you are nice. So are you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. I cleans everything for you, and there's no food left on anything. Thanks, Dish and Bashan. I cook things evenly every time. I love it. We will make a great team, Bob. <laughs> yeah. We will, Evan. Nightclub Kitchen, I know we just met, but... I think I love you. Uh, yeah. yeah I know that that roast chicken looked pretty good to me too, actually. Lauren, the artwork looks so beautiful in both these clips. <laughs> John. It does. It, I agree. I mean, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of detail, a lot of beautiful details that, you know, I love that. I love that about Bob's in general, but it, it looks really great. I agree. I think it's amazing what the, the if you look at earlier seasons, we were lucky enough to, you know, have made it this far. And now you can really look back and see the art that the art team has been just challenging themselves at every stage. And we just keep getting more um, texture and detail into the show. And, and it's, it's really incredible to see where they're at now. It's gorgeous. And that's what's going to happen with the movie, right? Not to give it away, but it's going to be uh, next level. Can I say? Yeah. Just really pretty. It's yeah. really, it's really Looking pretty. Beautiful. Worth the ticket price. It is. I wish I had. There's a. There's <laughs> two images. Uh, yeah, that we like to just flash back and forth. The show, a gorgeous background, and then the exact same background uh, and, and rendered by the movie team. And it is really fun to just see all that shadow and uh, yeah, the the dappled sunlight coming through the leaves and stuff. It is really pretty. Carloads of people agree. <laughs> were you going to say more about the movie other than it's coming out lauren you like started talking about the movie i mean it's fine if you weren't i was just curious no i wasn't going to say anymore i wanted to Great. just mention it because i uh, we work on it so much and i wanted yep. to uh to let the fans know it's coming and that we're, we're really um, looking forward to bringing it to them and whatever Great. whatever th theater they feel comfortable sitting in yeah, the living. My room mom theater. wants to go to the Oscars, so uh, <laughs> they'll be virtual, so yeah. she can go. Once, well, yeah. we get invited. <laughs> We're not going to get invited to the Oscars. Let her dream. Let her dream. It's Even okay. if it's she nominated, I was a, an, in Toy Story. I did not get to go. You don't gotta ruin the fantasy, Chris. No. I just don't want to going. We'll hold our own Oscars. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm not a big one. <laughs> Um, well, let's take questions from the fans. We have fans on with us, and we uh, love fans, really, mm -hmm. truly. And we are ready. I forget how I was supposed to um, do this, how I'm supposed to call on you, um, fans. <gasps> There's one. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. They're coming. Oh, yeah. They're coming. There's one. Here come the fans. Here come the fans. Am I supposed to unmute now? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. There's one. Allie. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are, we, are you going to say where you are? What what part of the world are you in? Uh, I'm in Canada right now. I'm actually camping. Wow. So if, if I look like a sweaty mess, it's because I'm literally camping right now. Um, um, I'm in Manitoba, Canada. Nice. Looks beautiful. Wow. So yeah. jealous. It, nice. It is. Yeah. I have, really nice. I have I many, many mosquito bites. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's my fault. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> and do you also have a question for anyone up here on the panel? Yeah, I just have one simple question. When are we going to meet Ginger? No, oh, Ginger. <laughs> I love how you can create demand by simply holding back a character. <laughs> I know you fans now. I know what you like. You like a character who is named but never seen, mm -hmm. and eventually there becomes a, like an itch that you can't scratch. Is that it? Yeah, it's yeah, it's totally it. And like her and Linda have like the funniest phone conversations, or Linda leaves the the best voicemails for Ginger. And yeah, I, I just feel like, yeah. When are we gonna there's meet some, her? 
There's some ginger voicemails coming up in season 11, right? Ooh. Or no. I mean, not by ginger, but I leave, I leave. Linda you leave leaves more, You leave more messages ginger. for ginger. So, right. Allie, we don't know the answer to your question, but I love that you <laughs> want it. I almost want to torture you more. That gives me <laughs> pleasure. Is it, is it like inspiration to just keep on keeping her secret? Yeah, yeah. There's like a weird sadistic part of me that wants to make fans want to meet characters that they'll never because it's because that now I'm keeping track. There's like a a pretty good groundswell for people who want to meet Andy <laughs> and Molly and Jimmy Jr.'s mother. Uh, as, oh. um, um, I think there's a lot of curiosity about the imaginary friend Ken. Yes. <laughs> And it's really fun to <laughs> make you guys want it so much. But but that said, it is a nice um, thing that you're right. You're pointing out a legitimate reason why she's interesting, which is any friend of Linda's is a friend of ours, right? Right? Yeah, I Yay. want her to be my friend. Yeah. Hey, I just want to All say, right. like, thank you so much for having me. It's, like, unbelievable to see all you guys. <laughs> and, yeah, this is Thanks for watching. Yeah. yeah. Thank you oh, my God. Much. Yeah, I have like a queue of Boss Burgers on my PVR at all times. And yeah, it's my go-to. <laughs> and my friend's laughing at me now. <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> <laughs> Yes, thank you like, very much. Like, thank you. Totally joking, but a real fan would sponsor all of us so we can go to Canada and get out of this COVID infested country. <laughs> Come and camp with me. It's so beautiful. I will come. I will come. Please, Kristen, come camp with me. We can both wear oh. the flannel. <laughs> I wish that when you revealed it, that you turned your camera, it was just in front of Kristen's house. You know, it, did look, uh, it looks a little like you're camping in just a sort of suburban area. Yeah. But I believe you that you're regular camping. I am regular camping, yeah. Great. Maybe. Uh, should we go to Erica? <laughs> you want to ask a question, Erica? Thank you. Hey, yes, I would love to ask a question. Um, I was going to ask something to cast, and that is, um, do, you have, do you have anything in common with your character? And if so, what is that? Mm. Pick, um, let's see. Let's pick I'll, somebody to go. Yeah, good. I, I mean, I uh, I feel like Jean. I certainly love food. It probably uh, in, in a similar way to Jean, and I think that Jean also has like an optimism uh, that I share with you know. That's like yeah, a sort of joyful optimism maybe. But I didn't when I was a kid. But probably now I do. That's nice. Who else? Dan. Dan, you haven't said a thing. Um, I don't know, maybe <laughs> being um, socially awkward. <laughs> virtually, virtually awkward? Socially awkward. Oh, socially, socially awkward. <laughs> I share my mother, my, my mother. I, you know, I channel my mother with, with Linda. So I think of her a lot when I'm doing Linda and what things, how she would inflect things and, um, and her love of food and, and life and wine. <laughs> I was going to ask about the wine. Nice. How about you, John Benjamin? I share my difficulty with, uh, uh, with John Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> like I have difficulty with John, like Bob has difficulty with Linda. <laughs> How about you, Chris? It's true. We yeah. have, well, Luis is very... Is very I, I, well, the recent episode where Louise doesn't like to poop in public um, that aired is me. Like, that's this, I'm just getting it out there. I, I, I don't like to poop um, away from my house. Um, so that was It's like, a great time to poop at home right now. <laughs> no, well, you're so right. You're ahead of the curve. You know what? The half full. <laughs> yeah. You did all the toilet, toilet is half full. Be careful what you wish for, Kristen. I know. It's like the monkey's paw. <laughs> I wish that a monkey's paw. <laughs> How about you, Larry? You got it. Um, I don't know. So many things and maybe not so many. <laughs> wow. Teddy comes oh. from inside you. Teddy does come from deep inside you. Yeah, that's true. You are you are Teddy. Um, where what part of the world are you in, Erica? 
if you're allowed. I'm in to... Brighton, England, actually. Wow. I'm from Indiana wow. originally, but. <laughs> wow, Brighton. Oh. From That's why it's a little bit dark here. I noticed the Midwestern English accent. <laughs> yeah. Mid Atlantic. <laughs> um, the Audrey Hepburn of Brighton. There you go. Moved around a lot. Indiana, LA, Hawaii, Santa Barbara. <laughs> wow, all today. Thank you for your question. Kara, Thank you so much. Do you want to ask a question, Kara? Or are you frozen? We'll go to David. Should we go to, oh, yeah, David's not frozen. He's just very still. <laughs> David, do you have a question? Where, what part of the world are you in? Uh, I'm in Austin, Texas, actually. Nice. Yep. nice. Yeah, it's very hot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I've just been in AC like this entire time, so not oh, too that's something. So it's uh, hot outside, but not where you are right now. Exactly. <laughs> <You're> great. <laughs> Smart. Um, I would. I, I actually have a question for uh, Kristen. Um, so, like, I was wondering if there'd ever be an episode where, like, Louise forces her way into having a pet, because I know there's been a lot of instances with, like, Colonel Fluffers or even the cat in the alley, like, kind of forcing one in, if, like, she actually would force one into the family. Yeah, I think that she could easily hide one in her room. You know, it's, it's, she could do a lizard or a snake in an aquarium, but it would be fun if she had a secret dog. I know there's a whole big taboo thing Lauren told me about the family getting a dog, because once you get a dog, you're kind of stuck with the dog. Um, just like once you kill a character, they're dead. So, but maybe she could find a stray dog. I don't know. That's not for me to decide because um, unless, uh, but I would love her to have it. What kind of animal do you think she would want the most, David? I feel like a snake would be funny because then yeah. it would freak out Jean as well. Oh, that's right. Great. <laughs> Wait, so here's a question. A dog, if you have a dog, you have it forever. But is it like if you buy, if you have a lizard in the show, are you allowed to kill a lizard? <laughs> that's a good question. It's a good question. The, in Nora's episode, in Worms of Enrearment, the kids are building what they're calling a hamster slide. And it is a sort of a, they're kind of basically making an argument that they should get a hamster now that they have a hamster slide. They don't really want a hamster. They just want to put one down the slide. That's true. Right. <laughs> David, do you have a dog? Uh, yeah, I just got a puppy, actually. She's like two months old. Oh, so not, not show, her, her. show her. Camera, why are we just right now? I can, that I can. Puppy. Oh, let's take advantage of this. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, it's a puppy. Oh, oh, no, it's a baby. It's a very yeah. cute dog. He's Hello, cute. Are you a baby. Oh, oh. Light. Should I let the dog know about the pandemic, or will you? <laughs> 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 Thanks, David. Give him a kiss. Sarah, are you on frozen? There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she froze again. Oh, no. <laughs> Am, I freezing? Am I freezing constantly? You're freezing, but I hear your voice, and that's all we need. Yeah. And now okay. you're frozen, smiling, so it's fine. That's right. Okay. Oh, now you got <laughs> robot. Voice. Yeah. No. Sure, you got Stupid, robot. but that's fine too. At least it's um. not me. <laughs> no. Do you hear anything I'm saying? Well, in and out. We're getting every other word. Yeah. Like we could make up a question and answer it, but we oh, wouldn't hear uh, what you're really saying. So we could actually piece it together oh. if you do it twice. Sure, you, could just, <laughs> you could just type your question yeah. in the chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Type your question in the chat. Um, and while we're taking a question from Jason. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Great. Um, Jason, you have Frankenstein, like Frankenstein bolts. Oh yeah, those are my uh, headless, uh, those are my um, Bluetooth earbuds. That's what Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. Um, hi everyone, greetings from the Fair Oaks suburb of Sacramento, California. Nice. Um, let's, let's see, um, I guess my question would be, um, do you guys have a favorite episode? And if so, what is it? Whoa, whoa, that's that for it. Mm. I mean, it's hard to pick one of the 200. And I also, I mean, right now it changes all the time, but I will have to again reference the poop episode um, where Louise doesn't want to poop at the aquarium overnight because I, it, it felt like I was reading out of my own autobiography. Um, <laughs> And I thought it was special. 
Who else? Um, I think the recent one with uh, Nat, the limo driver, and the snake. Yeah. Um, I really love. I love Nat. I think she's like such a fun character. Um, yeah, that's that's an episode. I also love the like a one hour Christmas special. Like I feel like it's such an adventure. Oh yeah, yeah. I love the Christmas love the special episode. too. That's up there. I that was beautiful. And I love the. Uh, I love when Tina and um, Linda went to the mall. The whole family goes. I'd still have to say my favorite is is the Topsy one. You know if I don't. Oh right. Yeah, I would second that. Even oh, it, just that too. song is just so contagious. Yeah. Yeah. Tina Horse Riderer. That's always hysterical. Yep. Agreed. What about you, Lauren and Nora? I mean, do you guys have one? I'm looking at Nora. I will no? never pick a favorite. I can't. I can't. I feel loyal to every single one of them, and I feel like it would somehow hurt their all their feelings if we pick if I picked a favorite. What about you, Nora? I do. I do really like the um, the Valent uh, Bob actually one. Um, I think it won an Emmy, but uh, <laughs> it's so cinematic and like Rudy and Louise kiss and. Oh, yeah. hot and <laughs> it's <laughs> like a really sweet episode. Oh, nice. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for your question. Yeah. Oh, you're that. very welcome. And thank you for having me on. <laughs> a pleasure. Uh, Kara typed out her question. Can I read it, Kara? Yeah. All right, here we go. Dang it. First of all, that's an expression of frustration about your technology, which we all feel. <laughs> You say, I was wondering if there was going to be any inclusion of the original cannibal family in the future, like a Halloween episode where the families meet uh, each other. Maybe Tina falls for Daniel. Ooh. Wow, Kara. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she went there. We were like, I think if I can interpret this question for you, Kara, it's like, are we ever going to like do more than we did? In episode one, for example, we do reference the cannibalism. That was our little like our our first nod to the to the to the cannibalism thing. But you're saying, can we go further? Yeah, more than the nod. You're looking that she just typed yes, more than the nod. Uh, I don't know if I may take this question, Kara. I would just like if I could get a second credit. <laughs> I could see <laughs> two characters that I played. <laughs> yeah, you don't want us to hire Nathan Fielder to play Daniel. <laughs> you know what it seems like that should be the final episode of bob's burgers they get eaten by where the they're eaten by the pilot one for the, end. the original <laughs> episode that's right. a good, i don't think about the law oh, gosh that's um, thank you <laughs> thank you for that question Kara. even if you stumped us a little bit i like the spirit of it nevea am i saying that right yes yes where are, you, where are you phoning in from, if you can tell us broadly? Casper, Wyoming. Casper, Wyoming. Wow. 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 <laughs> that gets a lot of wows. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, if you're allowed to tell us? I'm 13. 13 years old. Uh, and you're who's, allowed. who's your question for? <laughs> My question is for all of you. I was wondering what happened to Mr. Fish Odor's eye. Mm. Ooh. I'm glad you asked. Nora and I know we've never put it in the show. Is that right? It was it was talked about, and it was it was referenced in a little moment when Fish Oder's trying to get Felix out of the bathroom. Right? Isn't that part of uh, our setup episode where they built that bathroom and he's locked himself in there? And I don't know if you remember this, but he's going like. Um, Who's that something something guy? Who poked out his brother's eye? It's Felix. It's Felix. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, that is, it feels like that's more or less the answer. I think there was a moment where we almost had a, a joke in the movie, but we, I think it's been cut, right, Nora? Where? Yeah. Yeah. He was, um, he was talking about, uh, yeah, uh, how maybe it happened. Maybe there was a stick involved, but it got a little graphic. And so I think we might leave it at <laughs> Felix and his brother, and it was accidental, probably. I don't know. That, okay. that, that would be a really good flashback. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. uh, like, Save it yeah. for the live action, Bobs. <laughs> right. Um, thank you, Nevea, for your question. Jeez, thank you. And we have our last question. It's from Ryan. Ryan, where are you? 
Hi, uh, thanks for having me. So I am currently in Los Angeles and assuming you guys all live in LA, I live in Koreatown neighborhood. Oh, you're close to me, but not all of us, not all of us, we're spread yeah. around. Oh, so, I'm in Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. wow. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, thank you for joining us from Los Angeles near Koreatown. What's, uh, what's your question? Um, yeah, so I have a question for um, all of the cast. So um, how have you guys like evolved as like artists, like on your craft, like through the past 10 seasons? Wow. Oh, that's, that's a good question. I feel like I've gotten worse. <laughs> what I thought was acting is actually just yelling. <laughs> you actually thought you were acting at one point. And then I was like, wait a second. I'm just sometimes yelling a little. <laughs> but I feel it. But I feel it inside. Um, I, well, I feel like we've gotten to, everyone has gotten to know each other a lot more. And so we are sort of like, we're both, we're like a, a, a real family and a TV family from writers, writers. to performers. So I think Aww. that that's mm -hmm. sort of helped us a lot. Yeah, I was, I, I don't think I've gotten worse, um, but <laughs> I've gotten more comfortable being Louise. And at the beginning, I was like, um, God, I'm careful. oh my God, get the show on the air, you know, because <laughs> we didn't think it would go. Um, uh, <laughs> and then we said, and <laughs> so remember, it was just like, we got so this. Um, <laughs> so, to, so, after, but after uh, 10 seasons, I think, you know, the characters keep getting more and more rich and layered and, and, and delicious. And I think you get mm. more protective of them too. So there's just like all of a sudden the feelings of Louise getting hurt or winning are more real um, in the moment than they might have been in season one when, when I was still getting to know who Louise is. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool. Who else? I, I guess I would also say that the writers have evolved quite a bit too, to, and the yeah. synergy between the writers and the actors now are, is much richer than yeah. it was yeah. in the beginning. And I would also say that with, to Lauren as a director of a lot of the episodes. Yeah. Like his ability to tap into the characters quickly yeah. is a lot, more, uh, a lot more than it was when we started. Right. Yeah, Lauren a lot more line reads. Like yeah. Before. When, when he's directing. Yeah, a lot more line reads from Lauren. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a lot more, <laughs> yeah, There's a lot more like, good exactly. Lauren's become every character. I like for me to answer your question, Ryan, that I like that I my kids turned out this year to be the ages of um in, in my in my case, Louise and Jean. Um so it's like I was I started I feel like writing more like I was trying to remember my own childhood and now as well, I'm not writing that much, but to the extent that I keep my hand in the stories and try to find what's relatable, I'm I'm more Bob and Linda than I than I used to be because my kids are are now that age. Which so that's really I find it helpful and makes it like what Kristen said. It's their successes feel you feel them more strongly um, and their failures too. So it's, it's, yeah, it makes it. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it, it's gonna be a mixed bag when they get hired as writers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'd be a little like yep. Trump family. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. True. When they're arguing about stories, they're like, that did happen, Lauren. Well, there, that there was is going to be, there, there is gonna be a time <laughs> when it will be possible if the show stays on the air for a fan of the show to become, to work on the show. That's true. Yep. That's oh, wow. true. Yep. Just like Gunsmoke. <laughs> <laughs> so if I become like a character, what do you think a character I would be? Out of the top of your head. Um, I don't know. Like a cool guy who like comes a cool guy. Everybody yeah, I, the guy from Koreatown. Oh cool, yeah, I'll be probably cooking <laughs> Korean barbecue or something, and then competing with Bob. <laughs> you know, next to good. Jimmy Jr. Cool. Yeah. And maybe you're, you have a sweet band. You, you have a cool voice at, at an outdoor festival outside of outside of Bob's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, we're time to say goodbye. I think it's it's been a great. I, I enjoyed this. This is kind of fun. Should yeah. we do this all the time? Yeah. Can we? I mean, I if there's why. a a deadly pandemic, yeah, we should do it. Yeah, don't worry. It's safe to meet pandemic. up. Uh, yeah, we'll be back in 2022 in San Diego. 
This yeah. was fun, but <laughs> yeah. I, I do like my San Diego uh, yeah. thing. That's yeah. the only time the cast and Lauren and Janelle and everybody can actually sit and, and hang out all together, which is yeah. And walking around the floor and buying fun I don't comic do stuff. Gene, do I do. Stuff? Say it again. I'll miss seeing all the fans in person. Everyone dressed yeah. up. All Finding the cosplay. Your posters. Gas lamp yep. district. Oh. Yeah. Well, we'll do yep. it next year, right? Yeah, maybe the year yeah. after. We'll see. I'll sign Otherwise, double we'll posters next year. Yeah. yeah. And it's the, yeah. Only, the only place I ever drink Red Bull. Is it <laughs> That's Red Bull's that tagline. <laughs> you do two panels. That's why you have to. I got to keep it. Gotta keep it. Yeah. Got to keep it sharp. Yeah. Exactly. Um, well, goodbye, fans uh, out there. Uh, I mean, not goodbye. I mean, uh, hello. Goodbye from now. <laughs> 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 <laughs>